we want to find the value of this double improper integral. So first, you want to take it one variable at a time. As you can see, the inner variable is the dy integral. Okay, so we need to take care of that first. So what you want to do, you want to leave out the outer integral from 0 to 5. And you know that the inner integral is dy integral, so the x squared will be treated as a constant, so we can take it out. And then write the inner integral. And as you know, this is improper because it blows up, this integrand blows up 1 over y squared, blows up, so I can write it like this, 1 over 1 plus y squared. You know that this integrand blows up when you set y equal to infinity, right? Because you're going to have 1 over infinity, and you can't have that, right? You will need to use limits, and instead of the infinity sign, you're going to place the r, okay? So what you want to do, you want to write this as from 0 to 5 for the x squared, and then write limit as r approaches the infinity, so you're going to replace the infinity for the, um, for the upper uh, limit here. You're going to write from 0 to r instead, okay? 1 over 1 plus y squared dy, okay? Close bracket dx, because this whole thing will be part of the dx integral after that, right? So first we're going to take care of this. And of course, what this equals to is from 0 to 5x squared. And we're going to have the limit as r approaches infinity, alpha. And you know the antiderivative of 1 over 1 plus y squared is equal to arctangent of the y. That should be clear. So arctangent of the y, okay, from 0 to r, okay, dx. Okay, so let's see what that is. This is, um, this is equal to what? Basically, this is equal to the arctangent of infinity, right? Because this is where you can substitute back from r to infinity. So arctangent of infinity minus the arctangent of zero. Okay, dx. So let's see. So what this gives us, what this gives us, you know, arctangent of infinity basically says the angle at which the tangent is going to be infinity. Okay, and that angle should be pi over 2. Right, we know that. And the interval, of course, is going to be from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 for the inverse trigonometric tangent function, right? So we know pi over 2 is the upper limit for that range allowed. And we know that the arctangent, uh, we know that tangent of pi over 2 is precisely the infinity. So arctangent of that, the inverse function of that, trigonometric function of the infinity, should be the angle itself, which is pi over 2. Minus, now, angle whose Arc, uh, whose tangent is zero, right? So the arctangent of zero means angle whose tangent is zero, right? We know tangent of zero is zero, right? We know that. So tangent of zero is zero. So the arctangent of zero is zero, all right? Dx. So as a result, this is simply equal to, let's place pi over two outside because it's a constant. And now we can integrate the x squared dx simply. Right, which is equal to pi over 2. And this is going to be 1 third x to the third using the power rule from 0 to 5 evaluation, which is equal to, uh, and we, we can place 1 third again just outside like this. And we can write this as 5 cubed minus 5 to the minus 0 cubed, right? So we don't have to worry about the lower limit because it's 0. So as a result, this is equal to what? 5 to the third is 125, right? So 125 multiplies the pi, of course, 
and on the bottom I'm going to have a 6. So this is your resulting value of the improper double integral. So I hope this was fun and useful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.